Get up to EC 609 is the time right now. In just under four hours, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, or NOAA, will come out with its initial outlook for the 2024 Atlantic hurricane season. Oh boy, always hold my breath before these uh, dates come out. We've seen some really big impacts from storms like you see in this video from past years. So what's in store for this year? Let's bring in Jonathan now for what we know so far. Yeah, and looking at the forecasting signals, guys, and some of the past well-respected forecasts coming out a little bit earlier this year, it looks like it's going to be an active season. By the way, Noah's right in our backyard, if you wouldn't believe it. It's down at the campus of University of Maryland and College Park, so right here in the DMV. Right now on our website, living here, we've got a story on WSA9.com from uh, when the 2024 Colorado State University forecast came out. I'm scrolling through here. This is actually uh, on WSA9.com live right now. And Miri Marshall wrote this article for us. This is actually from when the Colorado State University forecast came out, and you can see here, Again, active season. Why? Well, because of the fact that we expect La Nina to take over means reduced wind shear over the summer. Also, of course, with global climate change and climate adjustments, we have seen very warm waters across the tropical Atlantic, and that will not change this year either. That is what hurricanes feast off of as they strengthen. So expected this year out of the previous release in the past about month or so, Colorado State University forecast 23 named storms, 11 hurricanes, five of the major hurricanes that would trump last season and also the average. Of course, a major hurricane is a category three or greater. And of course, we're going to stay on top of that new forecast expected to come out about 10 a.m. this morning from NOAA.